Hey everybody and welcome back to WPT Seminal Hard Rock Rock and Roll Poker Open. Now that is a mouthful. <laughs> now you're probably wondering, Alex, who are these two two people that that are beside you? Well, I am joined with famous poker player mm -hmm. Phil Luck and famous actress and one of the most famous female poker players Jennifer Tilly. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having us. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for um, giving us the time. It's always lovely to see women in poker and yes. um, actually there's one thing I wanted to say to you because mm -hmm. obviously now you've established yourself in poker mm -hmm. but when you were starting out like obviously a lot of women have said to me oh Alex you know as a woman, we often get bullied in the poker table and that men are very condescending towards mm. us. How did you overcome that when you first started? Well, I found the poker community to be very welcoming. Um, I feel like when I'm at the poker table, I'm just another poker player. Uh, sometimes I make the mistake of going online and reading what people think about my game. And then I'm <laughs> like, oh, everyone's so nice to my face. <laughs> but you know what? Poker is a great game and it's one of the few games where a woman can play with a man on an even playing field. Like uh -huh. any other sports, they have the advantage because they have that testosterone and yeah. the muscles but poker is sort of a game of wits and nobody has more wits than I do. <laughs> and Phil I hear you have a degree in mechanical engineering you're not just a poker player. Yeah so but I left that world behind real fast most engineers have uh, there's a hierarchy system and uh -huh. you have a boss and I just couldn't escape the whole boss real world thing. Yeah. Did you grow up playing poker or was poker something yeah. that came later no, in life? Poker was always around games, chess, stratego, diplomacy, whatever, basketball, football. There was always things, uh -huh. but I always gravitated towards the, the the board games more than the, I'm not an athlete, you know. Well, you're up here. You said you're not an athlete. However, I heard something pretty crazy about you. I heard you entered, tell me if I'm wrong, the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest. For the anti-athlete play. Yes, <laughs> just doing absolutely nothing for being a zombie in an awake state. That's no, that's pretty laborious on your body to, to, to yeah, play for that tough, amount of yeah, time. I actually did. I say I'm not an athlete, but. I knew that was going to be a toll. That was the only year in my life where I was like a religious gym dweller and religious, you know, lettuce eater and no ice cream and no like I, for a year. I was like, I have to be in great shape for this. I don't know why I thought that, but it did help because it was a pounding, difficult, cramping mess. After about 90 hours, you just start melting. But well, now the real burning question that I think everyone wants to know the answer to: Who's the better poker player out of you two? Well, Whoa. I think obviously Phil is, but the great thing about poker is the way that luck, luck skews the way the ball bounces. So we could be in a poker tournament, he could play way better than I could, but I could get a little <laughs> bit lucky and I can end up winning. So um, that that's why I think it's no argument that Phil is the better poker player. But I like the way I play poker. I'm super spewy and that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always thinking that like you're always your worst right. enemy right. in any, po whenever I play, if I get beat or when I always feel like I'm the opponent, not these other people at the table. I'm always like battling myself. Okay, uh -huh. don't tilt, keep the cherry bomber tucked away. But oh, that's, oh, the math is wrong. Fault. Like that's, that. the battle is within yourself. I uh -huh. don't know. And then sometimes it reveals itself by having a prize the, or money. The cherry bomber is um, somebody, is when Phil blows himself up by mistake. Right. <laughs> that's, you go to YouTube and just, that's what he calls you know, it, the cherry bomber. The cherry bomber. YouTube. I don't know why this right. didn't get so many views, but like, I had the best hand and I just folded. 62,000 euro pot. Type in lock, mux, winning hand, 62,000 euros. It happened. That's cherry bombing. That's a, the quiet implode. You know, like not all bombs blow up and it's like shrapnel. Sometimes it's a quiet death. Yeah. I didn't know what I had. I, I forgot what I had or something. I don't know. It's a long time ago. But messes can happen, you know. Most of the messes are up here, not uh, the out there thing. That's just a framing paradigm. It's really the battle is in here all mm -hmm. the time. Just sign up at clubwpt.com and get the game.